late night chit chat with Tati. So these are some videos that I made a while ago. I'm not going to put them up physically. I'm just going to say like what I've been saying like in the videos in this video. But um, pretty much I realized that like during isolation, during God's isolation, um, you learn to love yourself. You learn to grow, you learn to change. But you also learn that people are really like fake very conniving um definitely don't know how to be good people and don't have the same heart as you especially if you have a really good heart so i feel like everyone should just love on jesus yep that's the solution love god because he's the only person that can actually love you back and actually like give you the love that you yearn for. Um, of course, one day he will give me my husband. He will give me my children. He will give me everything I've been asking for. But for now, I truly feel like I just have to work on myself and grow more as a person. Um, I also feel like People that are really genuine and have good hearts that actually do want to see me win, that that are happy with my righteous cause, they are the ones that are going to be with me when I get my blessings. And trust me, I know who's real and who's fake. Don't think when things starts looking up and you try to come up to my face like, oh my gosh, hi, like, ha ha, hee hee. Right. So like, also I've been saying, um, I've been saying that pretty much, oh yeah, that's another thing I've been trying to say. A lot of people love to like copy me and and stuff like that. But there's a difference between like, being inspired and copying out of like spite. And I feel like people are doing it out of spite to try to like come up off me. And I don't like that. Like, honestly, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna pray over that right now. In Jesus Christ's name, every single person that has tried to make money off of my energy, my concepts, my ideas, who I am as a person, I pray that it is all cursed money. They do not prosper and that. They have sorrow with that money in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. So now that I prayed over it, and I please bless Jesus over that prayer. And now that I prayed over that, I can feel more at rest about it. But um, I also feel like from now on, everything will work out for me. Especially if I learn how to like brand everything and really just make sure everything is under my name and me. I have the credit to it, so... I just got to make sure I do that. And um, so th just for example, this hairstyle, this is all me. Like I've had this, this hairstyle, I've had this envisioned since I was like 16 years old. I'm 25 now. I never did it because I never really like knew how to put it together. But one day me and God like sat down and like I figured it out. But like. The fact that people sat there and saw this style on my head and decided to be like, oh, I'm going to recreate the same thing <laughs> and make it look like it was me. <laughs> it's funny to me. Like, that's funny to me. That's real funny to me. But you know, it's okay. It's all right. Like, I really don't care. <laughs> Oh, I really don't care because I know God will give me my reward in heaven. He will give me my reward in heaven. Um, I truly feel like, I mean, he'll give me my reward here on earth too. Don't get me wrong. Like he'll give me my reward here too, especially if I work hard at it and 
definitely try my best to like figure things out but mm, people are weird that's all I have to say and also I just feel like people love to talk about everything else but what needs to be talked about like I have not spoken with okay the people that know know and the people that don't don't but pretty much the girls that get it get it the guys that get it get it and the girls that don't don't you know what I mean so it's like for those who do speak to me about business and financial stuff and things that can help me grow and become more of a businesswoman and stuff like that. May God bless you and keep you and you stay protected and highly blessed and highly favored and a long life and always be next to me so we can always make money together. And, and I pray that we always have a good relationship, you know? In Jesus Christ's name, amen. But the people that don't talk to me about... This is the thing I've noticed. Like, a lot of people that I've encountered in my life, like, they would sit there and they would, like, talk to me about everything. But they know my situation. They know what I'm going through. They know the word around town. But instead of, like, actually helping me they would sit there and talk to me and ask me my opinion on things and instead of like helping me out they would just sit there and listen to what I have to say which is this I understand that you want to get my opinion on things but don't you think if you're a real friend you're gonna put your friend on to game you're gonna put your friend on to like don't mind the stains on my shirt I was eating salmon saucy salmon um saucy salmon and beans but anyways, so don't you think if you have a real friend, you're going to like put them onto a game and you're going to put them onto money and you're going to help them build whatever they're trying to do or like help them grow as a person? Like, don't you think that's what you're supposed to do as a person if you're really talking to them and you know they're not at, at the best state at the moment and they're not really doing the best as you think they are and even if they're even if they are doing good like don't you think every once in a while you should say hey how are your finances how how you've been doing like you got any bills you got to pay like you guys don't think about that and then you wonder why your friend doesn't hang out with you and you wonder why your friend doesn't call you and you wonder why your friend doesn't text you you wonder why your friend is all distant it's because bitch we got bills like what you thought this was, I have bills to pay. I have, I don't, I mean, I have kids yet, but when I have kids, I want to make sure that everything is provided, plus they're thriving. So I'm not going to sit there and just talk to you about bullshit, talk to you about some random shit. Like, where are the investments? Like, where's, what what are you bringing to the table for me to actually keep keep on talking to you? Because if you're not talking to me about money, what are we talking about? If it's not God or money, what are we talking about? Seriously, I want to know. If it's not about Jesus Christ or money, what are we talking about? If you're not putting me on to a opportunity, if you're not putting me on to something that's going to grow my brand, grow who I am as a person, what exactly are we talking about? Are you just here to snoop in on my business to see how I'm doing, if I'm doing better than you? Hmm? Because some people, believe it or not, are very, very vicious and they're very competitive. And they think because if someone's getting better in life, they're competing against them. No, sweetheart, I'm competing against me. I'm trying to make sure I'm better than I was yesterday and last year and the year before that and the year before that. I'm not competing against you, sweetheart. If I, if I end up happening to surpass you in some way, shape, or form, that was God, that was not me. 
Okay? Don't be mad at me. Be mad at Jesus Christ. And I know you don't want to do that because he, he slaps real hard. Okay? Now, when y'all sit there and try to compete and compare and like, oh, I'm going to be friends with her to see what she's doing. I'm going to try to, oh, this is what she does. 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 I'm going to copy it and I'm going to like swivel my way and try to twist it around and make it look like it's me. Bitch, are you dumb? You know, light always exposes the darkness. And eventually, everything that you try to copy and like twist around, it will show that it came from me. From me. <laughs> like, it'll still show. So it's like, and even if it doesn't show, God can tell someone. You know that, right? Like, I don't know if people know this or not. Like, I don't know if. I don't know if people know this or not, but, um, I don't know if people know this or not, but God speaks to people. God is real. He will tell people if, if you ask God something, he will either reveal it to you in a dream, in an audible voice, in a thought. Someone will tell you. There's many different ways God speaks to people. So the fact that y'all sit there and betray people, mock people, copy people, and then think it's not going to come back to you, I have to pray for you. I really have to pray for you because it doesn't make sense. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It... <laughs> and then and then the funny thing is you guys think you're going to get away with it. Like that's the funniest thing about it. Oh. You think you're going to get away with it? Like no, you're not. Like <sighs> I just think it's funny. <laughs> I just think it's funny. Like, I just think it's real, real funny. <sighs> but I just wanted to talk about that. Um, what's sad. But you know what? You know what? It's funny. It's like... <laughs> I love doing it though. I love this because it's like everything I do, people copy. So it's like, unless I do it, no one's going to want to do it. And on top of that, no one's going to try to beat me to it. So it's like technically even if, you know what? I'm going to do everything I said I'm going to do and everything I wanted to do in Jesus' name. In Jesus Christ's name. The blood of Jesus over that. But I also want you to know that... You trying to compete against me is just making you into a better person. It's not stealing my testimony. It's not changing the outcome. It's not changing anything. You're just turning into a better person. And that's good for you. And I'm happy for you. And you can't expect me to be mad if I'm happy for you. I have a genuine heart. So like... You thinking I'm going to be mad that you're doing good in life. That doesn't make any sense. Because I know one day it'll come back to me. The goodness that I give out will always come back to me. The good heart that I have, the good energy that I have will always come back to me somehow in some way. There are a lot of blessings that I've been getting I have not said anything about. Because first of all, I don't want it to be squandered. Second of all, I'm not going to sit there and like just like tell everything until God tells me to tell it. And I feel like... People are really, like, red-eye. Like, they're really, like, it's weird. But God is good. God is very good. God is very good. So, um, 
I also want you to know that people are very funny because it's like y'all sit there and act like I don't I don't I don't know I don't like I see everything I feel everything I know everything because I have a close relationship with with Jesus Christ with Jesus Christ I have a close relationship with him so like I already know how y'all are acting, what y'all talking about, what y'all doing, where y'all going, what you doing next. <laughs> and the thing is, right, like, I don't even need to, like, that, that's the thing. My God, yes, he's a God of war, but he's mainly a God of peace, like, he tells his children to just be still and know that he is God. Turn the other cheek. Pray to him so he can do the work. So I will never sit there and use my powers for evil. But just know. Okay? Just know. I know everything that's going on. Everything. Everything. And I, there's some things I don't say because I, I want to wait till God tells me to say it. And I also want to make sure it's like, it's, it's on God's timing. So, yeah. And, um. Now, what else did I want to say? I have a lot to say, but there's something else I wanted to say. Something else I wanted to say. Um... That's what I was going to say. Yes. Because people copy me, y'all leap after I take a step, right? So you're not moving until I move. It's called the butterfly effect. <laughs> you're not going to move until I move. I'm the leader around here. I'm the captain around here. I'm the one in charge because of God, because God said I am. So when I drop something, that's when y'all sit there and be like, oh my gosh, this is great. Like, how can I, because you didn't think of it. You don't know what to do. Like, you don't have, you're not, you're not me. Are you dumb? Y'all sit there and like, y'all sit there and try to like act like, it's me. Yeah, I'm I'm that girl. I'm the one. Yeah. It's me. So y'all sit there and act like y'all did something first. Y'all did this first or did that first. No. Just because you released it first doesn't mean you thought of it first. Doesn't mean you did it first. You just released it first. Doesn't mean you thought of it first. God knows everything. So technically that means that even if you try to claim it as yours, it's not yours. And it ne it'll never be yours. It'll never be yours. And I truly feel like um 
y'all don't do anything until I do it. I'm the trendsetter. I'm the one that everyone tries to copy, copy my sound, copy my flow, copy my themes, copy my, like, everything. Like, that's what y'all love to do. Y'all just love to copy, 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 copy. Copycat, copycat, copycat. Monkey see, monkey do. That's all y'all do. But it's okay, because God knows I'm the original. He knows where all the ideas come from and that's why I'm going to be blessed because y'all sat there right plotted did schemes to try to see oh maybe if we do this that and the other we can try to like beat her to it and um we can like get credit for it and we can like uh, uh but y'all don't know that Bro, like, you can't stop the original force. And that's all I have to say. You cannot stop the original force. You cannot stop the original force. You cannot stop the original force. The Holy Spirit works through me, lives inside of me, and is all around me. My guardian angels are all around me. God is with me always. And I know that for sure. So I truly, truly feel like y'all got to stop. <laughs> y'all got to stop. And if you don't stop, God going to stop you. Hate to say it, but it's the truth. If you don't stop, God going to stop you. And you don't want him to stop you. Because if he stops you, you going you gonna to cry. You going to cry or you might die. <laughs> it's one or the other. I, I prefer you cry. Because at least you could just dry your tears up and call it a day. But. <laughs> but. <laughs> I'm also pray that you don't die. Because God always says to bless your enemies. And to pray that his wrath doesn't ruin you. So that's what I will do. Yeah. So, what else do I want to say? Uh, oh, if you like my skin, how it's looking, I've been using my skincare. Don't have much acne, as you can see. I've been, I've been, actually, no, it's not that bad at all. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, I've just been using my skincare. I had I, I had pimples. I don't know if they went away already. That'd be amazing. What? I have like little tiny bumps over here. But other than that, my skin is super clear. Super, super clear. And if you would like skincare, all you have to do is message me on Brazen Butterflies Official. Or TikTok Trap Queen Tati. I'm thinking of changing my TikTok name. But if I don't, I will let you know. If I do, I will let you know. And, um, yeah, I also have travel deals for sale. So if you would like to buy some, let me know. 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 When I I'm about to put that on after I get off here. <laughs> Drink some water and go to sleep and, and listen to Aaliyah before I go to sleep. But yeah, um, honestly, like, mm, y'all bugging. I truly feel like God's going to vindicate on my behalf. You know why? Because I, I said, you know what? I'm not going to try to fight this on my own. I'm going to call my father. <laughs> I'ma call my father and he gonna get you. He gonna get you. I'ma call him my father, Jesus Christ. How about them apples? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How 
about that. Like, <laughs> cause what do you do? What do you do when someone bothers you? What do you do when someone tries to like bother you? You call your dad, right? I'm gonna call my daddy. Jesus Christ. And he'll fix it. He'll fix it. Don't worry. I ain't got to lift a finger, child. I ain't got to lift a finger, honey. I ain't got to do nothing. All I got to do is sit here, look pretty, and wait for the blessings to fall in my lap. Of course, I work towards it as well, but you know what I mean. So, got some water here. I'm about to drink some. Uh, let me see if I could get something to hold this up while I talk to you guys. I don't know if this is going to stay. Okay, good. I just want to drink this before I get off. That was some good water, y'all. So I just want to let you guys know that Jesus loves you. I love you too. I got to go. I got stuff to do. Stay strong. Don't give up. Keep going. And believe in yourself. Always. Believe in God and believe in yourself. No matter how hard it gets. No matter how much, it, how bad it may seem, just keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. And that's all I have to say. Thank you for watching. Follow me on Instagram, Raising Butterflies Official, TikTok, Trap Queen Tati. This is my YouTube. I might make another YouTube, but I'll let you know if I do and when I do. Um, yeah, that's about it, y'all. I'm about to go to bed. <sighs> Good night, y'all. Good night, y'all. Peace.